the circuit of the poor man's function generator. And now it is the third video. And uh, I want to show the progress that I made on this circuit. Uh, go to my earlier videos for more specific information about this uh, frequency generator that creates waveforms between 21 kilo cycles and 1 mega cycles. And even when you uh, raise the voltage to the circuit, it can work up to 1.8 mega cycles. It's an uh, RC oscillator, RC radio oscillator. I made some adaptations. Uh, this is the unit, by the way, the oscillator unit. That's also in the first, or sorry, the second video, or the third. And you see here two resistors of 27K. And now I have uh, connected that node to a typical uh, high frequency transistor, the PF459, and that PF459 has to have an amplification factor of approximately 40 or 30. So this is the whole circuit. And you can create quite a lot of frequencies and then especially I mean uh, waveforms, different waveforms with this circuit. And um, I, uh, sorry, I tapped the circuit here and then it went to this, this uh, unit where there is a high frequency stage of the BF459 bipolar uh, high frequency transistor and you can switch between the field effect transistor output here and the uh, bipolar transistor output and that gives a lot of other waveforms out. And the working point is set with the help of these resistors, variable resistors here and fixed resistors, and here the same, the base uh, voltage setting uh, is very important because it tells all about how such a transistor, high frequency transistor, operates. So, well, let's see how I made it in the circuit. Uh, here you see that BF459 transistor And there is one potentiometer here and one fixed value uh, resistor 47K that set the working point of this transistor. And changing the working point me means uh, another waveform. So furthermore, um, I uh, made other other changes to the circuit. Want to show the pin connections first. And I'm going to make uh, another stage um, where I uh, connect the output of the 
two high frequency transistors directly from the collector here to a point here on the front and on the other side exactly the same. And uh, the reason is that the waveforms um, in the oscillator here are in fact quite pure. So here I make a tap opposite to ground and especially via a uh, say 10k potentiometer or a 1k potentiometer here. And on the other side of the oscillator I do the same. And um, then I have here a very pure waveform uh, out of which I can send, uh, I can uh, align the output voltage, AC voltage. And also here I make a tap to the gate of the transistor. And that also means that I have here a kind of very pure waveform. And after all, the signal goes here to that other stage, of which I want to uh, show the different um, waveforms that can be changed by changing the working point and especially by changing the coupling capacitor. That coupling capacitor has a very substantial effect on the waveform at the output of the BF459. And here you can get, for instance, small peaks with a 100 pay capacitor and broader peaks with these two values. So that's also a separate, that will be a separate unit on my uh, uh, output here, this is this will be that separate unit, and also here, and I will make a separate, completely separate part here, to which I will make a BNC connectors here, for instance. So this. This is the, the aim, BNC connectors and other connectors to take out the different waveforms and then especially uh, directly on the gate of the FET, field effect transistor, with the help of a potentiometer to align the output level and more or less precise on the collector of the oscillator and also uh, that will be made with a, a separate potentiometer to uh, align the output level. So that will mean that we have a lot of different waveforms here. And finally, that's another aim, completely a part of this whole project. My aim is to mount this 50 or 60 hertz sine wave generator that I've published earlier on YouTube also in this circuit to integrate it all with a separate output. So here is that circuit. And so I have to uh, align it a little bit, crimp it a little bit in, but I'm sure because we have a lot of room here on the ground plate to mount this unit in. And uh, that will give the poor man's function generator. Uh, much more possibilities. By the way, important to tell, here is the ground plate made with tin plate glued to the wood 
whole template is soldered together very properly to make a galvanic unit. So it's shielded here now. It will be shielded here so that there, there is no effect from uh, outer sources. On the front it is shielded here with template glue to that uh, triplex wood and of course this extension will also be uh, glued on the template oh sorry on the back side with template and then I have the whole uh, poor man's function generator made in a proper way that gives uh, reliable results reproducible results on all the frequencies where it has to work. Pen over somewhat for everyone interested in that circuit. The BF459, the pin connections 13 February 2019, that's now the connections of the field effect transistor, the oscillator, more in the earlier videos, the start switch, that's also perhaps interesting to tell. Here I made that start switch. When the oscillator doesn't want to work, Press that start switch a few times. One time is enough and in fact the only thing that the start switch does is disconnect the power lead and then connect it again. Uh, of course there are much better solutions but that take new components other components to make such a circuit uh, work. Uh, whatever voltage is applied. Anyway, this is a simple circuit and this approach to start switch always works. I've talked about that earlier anyway. Pen over further. Here you see all the different uh, waves that can be created by uh, tuning the frequency, um, changing the value of the coupling capacitor and uh, well that's more or less all to tell. 47 nanofarad on the different uh, frequencies you will see different waveforms and 100 picofarad is a small coupling capacitor that pinches off the lower frequencies that will have an effect on the waveform that you see uh, on the oscilloscope and the output.